everyone! My name is Chloe Lin, and I'm Public Programs Assistant at the Harvard Museums of Science and Culture. Today, we're going to learn a little bit about the Asteraceae flower family and learn how to make some easy at home crafts with flowers. My name is Michaela Schmull, and I'm the Director of Collections of the Harvard University Herbaria, which is basically a library for dead plants, fungi, and some other organisms. I want to talk to you about the sunflower family today, the so-called Asteraceae. The name Aster means star in Greek, and the flower head of this family is often yellow and has the shape of the sun or a star. They have a compact looking middle part, which is the disc with many small disc flowers. And the disc is surrounded by so-called sun rays, the petals or ray flowers. There are more than 32,000 known species in the sunflower family, some of them shrubby, but most of them grow as herbs. They grow today on every continent except for Antarctica. It's an eco economically important family. You may have seen sunflower oil or lettuce in the store. They are um, very pretty garden plants and important for pollinators, and some members have medicinal properties. At the herbarium, we store our specimens pressed and dried and glued on sheets of paper. We have about 225,000 sheets of Asteraceae. Some were collected as early as the 1800s and some as recent as 2013. They come from as close as the Charles River here in Cambridge, while others are collected in other places in North America, South America, Europe, Africa, and Australia. Well-known examples of Asteraceae are sunflowers, thistles, dandelions, and lettuce. Sunflowers can turn their entire head to track the movement of the sun in the sky. They do that to attract more pollinators. The sheet that we have here has a pressed flower that was collected in a hunt in Massachusetts and also includes sunflower seeds. Thistles have prickles, often all over the plant, that protect them from being eaten by herbivores. Dandelions disperse their seeds with the help of little umbrella-shaped hairy structures, so-called puppets. Other family members each arrive to a new location with the help of little hooks that can attach the seed to clothing, fur, or feathers. The sunflower family is a fascinating group and I hope you enjoy pressing and preserving your own plants. Thank you. So now that we know a little bit more about the sunflower or Asteraceae family, let's make some crafts. We will need flowers, a pair of scissors, wax paper, paper towels, construction paper, tape, some heavy books, an iron, and an ironing board. Here I'm using some purple flowers from the Asteraceae family. You can tell they're part of that family because of the way the top of the flower is made up of many ray flowers arranged around central disc flowers. The first thing we'll do is take our flowers and cut them off on the main stem. We want these flowers to become as flat as possible, and taking them off of the main stem to arrange them will help us get them flat. Then, we are going to arrange our flowers how we would like them onto a piece of wax paper on a flat surface like this table. When you have arranged them the way you like them, you can lay another piece of wax paper on top. Then, put some of your big, heavy books on top and wait a day or two for your flowers to become nice and flat. After a few hours of waiting, when your flowers are now nice and flat, we can begin the process of either ironing them between wax paper to preserve them, or creating a sun print. If you want to preserve your flattened flowers under wax paper, simply take the heavy books off of your flowers, place the wax paper and flowers onto an ironing board, and cover them with a paper towel. Then with your iron on medium heat, slowly begin to iron across the wax paper until both sides of the wax have bonded together. Voila! You can cut your flowers out into a fun shape and then attach it to some construction paper or do whatever else you would like with it. If you want to make a sun print with your flowers, 
Take your flattened flowers out between the wax paper. Carefully tape your flat flowers to construction paper. And then tape your construction paper to the window with your flowers facing outside. A south facing window that gets a lot of sun during the day is best. Leave it for two or three days, or more if it's cloudy outside, and when you take it down and take the flowers off of the construction paper, you'll see the outline of the flowers. Congrats on making your very own sun print! Thank you for joining us in making these craft activities with flowers. If you like this activity, you can find more on our HMSC Connects Kids and Families page. Bye bye now!